We came back to settling Cape Town. We just we sold our house in Littleton. I was very sorry to leave it. I was sorry to leave Littleton because we'd been there 35 years and I had to leave all my friends behind. When we first came back, little JJ, I think he was about two years old then. Yes, he was about two years old. Then I used to, he was at a, he was at a crash. I remember little JJ was at a crash and his mother used to bring him to me in the morning and then she went to work. Then she'd come back for little JJ in the afternoon. But that little boy was so good. There was, he was so good. But anyhow, that was nice to come back to Janet and the, and the family. And now, of course, since we've been back, Gary's been, well, is he married? Was he married? No, he wasn't married before we came. He was married. And now, of course, they've got two little grandchildren. So they're just a, a wonderful pleasure to see these little children, and they are so happy, good little children. Well, you know, they bring them up so nice. Today, so many children are spoiled, but not not little, not little uh, 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 Oh, I've forgotten her name. Jordan. Jordan and, and Kelly, lovely little children. Then, of course, I've got. Uh, uh, then, of course, I've got two children, two grand. Three grandchildren in in New Zealand, but they all came. They all came home for my hundredth birthday. Tell it's us a, about your hundredth birthday. Oh, oh I, I, no, I, I had a wonderful party. A wonderful part of my hundredth birthday, and I had a, queen, a, a lovely card from the Queen, and I had a lovely card from and Becky. And, and so on, and from the Methodist Church and so on. So no, I had a wonderful, we had a lovely party at, uh, in uh, a small hotel, eh? Anyhow, I had all, so many of my old friends, some came, some came from Natal, some came from the Free State. Of course, you see, I'd been here then everywhere and I had such lovely friends of long ago. So we had a wonderful, we had a wonderful party. No, it was very lovely. No, no, how is a hundred? <laughs> oh dear, 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 dear. Gary, when did Cecil die? He died seven years ago, bless him. But he he was working almost to the he was working within four or five years till he died really. Yes, he he worked he worked long but he's he had a wonderful life. He had a he had a wonderful life and we got on well together. He wasn't one he like it's simple things in of a life, I think, you know. And what uh, would you say was the secret to your to your marriage? I think we had we didn't find fault with each other. We each had patience, and we each I don't know. We just we didn't just quarrel, you know. We just tried to work together. I suppose we worked. He worked hard. He he worked hard. No, he was very, no, we were a very happy couple. We were very happy, very happy. No. How did you cope, Dory, after Cecil died? Eh? How did you cope after Cecil died? No, no I, I, I managed quite well, really. I, I really, I managed quite well. I couldn't wish him back because he was, you know, he, towards the end he was poorly. How uh, old was Cecil when he died? Cecil was 92, I think. Were there any things that have given you these long years? Walking. I have walked so far. I have walked, and I think that's all that's given me health. Yes, I've taken no vitamins or anything like that for long life, etc. I, no, I think it's all the walking I did. You see, I never drove a car. I think it's all the walking. And people, I've always loved people. You know, I've always... I love people. No, I I think it's long why I've been spared so long. I love people, I love people. Make time for friends, they are precious. How precious friends are. Hmm? I've had my independence all these years and now I've lost my independence and it's not easy. It's not easy. I've been so I've been so busy. And but thank God my brain is good. My brain is my best part of me. And my legs are my best part, but my poor eyes. I cannot I cannot see telephone numbers. I can't see to read. I can't see to write properly. If I write I can't see what I've written. That's only my but my brain, thank God, is it's is better than some people at fifty. <laughs> eh? 
oh, I can eat almost any thing, but anything too spicy, because last night I had something that didn't agree with me. Last night I had something from supper and didn't agree with me. So I, I, I mustn't have anything spicy, but otherwise I can eat anything. Gary, what do you still want to do in your life? <laughs> I want to be the help of something. I want to be a little bit of help for somebody. Yeah. I can still I can still iron for Janet and I'm proud of that. It's about all I can do to help anybody. I can't cook anybody, but I can talk to people. But I, I, I can't... I used to love the garden. I can't do the garden anymore. But thank God I walk without a stick. And my brain is active. My brain is active. What do you think about most? I think... <laughs> I, I, I wonder what, sometimes what the world is coming to. I wonder where the world is so different. The world is so different. And one thing, there's too many people in the world today. How in years to come, how will we all be fed and, and watered? I shouldn't talk like that, perhaps, but it's true, isn't it? Hey? I haven't accomplished much, but I've made a lot of friends in this. I've done some good in this world, but I haven't done a lot of good. But I, I, I feel satisfied that I've helped with this charity and I've helped with that and I've helped with the family perhaps, but I haven't done what I should have done. But life is like that. I'd still like to help the cripples and, and, and the, the cripples and the, and the TB. I mean, there's so many people with TB today. I think the TB would uh, I'd like to work for more, the TB. I'd like to be about 80 again. I'd be very busy if I was 80. <laughs> I'd be very busy if I was, if I was 80. <laughs> yeah. But it's not nice to grow old, but still I, I've got a lot to be thankful for. I've got a lot to be thankful for. And I, I don't think I'm a burden on my family. I don't, th I don't, th I don't want to be a burden on anybody. No, I've never, so, so, so long, I've never been a burden on anybody, I don't think. Perhaps I don't like my ways, perhaps, but we all have different ways. My ways are my ways, Janet's ways are her ways, Gary's are his ways. We all have different, we all have a different life. If you had to give some words of wisdom... Please do not buy on credit. We never bought on credit. That's the biggest challenge I give to everybody. Do not buy on credit. I'm proud of that. We never bought, we, when we bought our first house, yes. But Cecil said when we're buying the second one, we must pay more off that each one, so we get it clear. And that's what we did. And never bought on credit. I'm proud of that. Hey, hey, that's why the world is in trouble. So I was bought on credit. I, that's from an old lady of 100 years old. <laughs> hey? Do you like to have a drink? No, I'm not a lover, but I've got a friend. He, he often gives me a bottle of port. He often gives me a bottle of port, my friend. I bet I mustn't mention name. But he often gives me, that's all I have. I've no, I don't like other wines. I often give me a bottle of port, and that I have before I go to sleep. That helps me to go to sleep. I've got one in my, uh, there's one in my bottle, in my cupboard now. I haven't opened it, but I can't open it myself. But a friend gave me that, and he often gives me a bottle of port. But Cecil was no drinker. I mean, he'd never go to the pub and have a drink. No, no, he might have a glass at home, but he was no one to go out, you know, and have drinks. No, no, no. If Cecil was here now, what would he say? What would he say? Oh, he'd say, what, are you still busy? Because he knew I was busy. He said, what, are you still busy? <laughs> we had very happy... Uh, we had a very happy uh, marriage. We had troubles as well, you no, know, especially during that year, you no. Know, but we he you no, know, he he was a wonderful character, bless him, you know. You know. Dory, thank you so much for doing this interview. It's been fantastic. <laughs> I could have been better another day, perhaps I could have done better, but I I'm, I get confused. <laughs>